Hello, I'm Will Zitterich of 3D Distributed, and I'm here to explain how we're going to heat the bed of the workhorse printer. So this is the workhorse printer. It's in working condition. We've been using it earlier today. And as you can see, it's got a very large heat bed. In fact, it's 650 by 350 millimeters and over a centimeter thick. The thickness is for strength reasons. A large bed would otherwise sag under its own weight if it was thin. Now, the difficulty with such a large bed is it requires well over a kilowatt of heat in order to raise it to printing temperatures quickly. This means that you cannot power the heat bed from the traditional MOSFET on the Duet Wi-Fi board we're using. So instead, we're going to use a solid state relay running on AC power controlled by the MOSFET. That will give us uh, one and a half kilowatts of power. For the actual heating elements, we're going to use 30 50 watt resistors screwed onto the bottom side of the aluminum block. Ordinarily, this would be a problem with localized heating, but with a one centimeter thick aluminum heat bed, the heat will be distributed rapidly, unlike with a glass bed. Yeah, you just, and that, that's one of the challenges in uh, large scale 3D printing. Uh, this, this may not be uh, large scale to a lot of printers, but this is, this is pretty much the biggest desktop uh, FTM 3D printer in the market. Uh, now, uh, some of the current stuff we're working on is a lot bigger, but we're heading in the direction of large-scale 3D printing, okay? Uh, and basically, we're trying to get prepared. Uh, you know, there, there's some challenges we're facing with, uh, uh, with flatness of the bed and actually maintaining, you know, a heated bed. Uh, you know, a lot of options, like what Will was saying, was the silicone uh, heat pad. Works great on uh, a lot of printers. Um, the thing is, flatness is really big for us, okay? And we have a flat machined aluminum plate. Now the problem with that is you can't put a silicone heat pad on top of it because it defeats the purpose of that flatness of having the plate. And you can't really, you can put it underneath it, uh, but the problem is you're gonna, it's, it's very inefficient. You're gonna lose a lot of heat. Um, so one of the options we were, one of the first options we looked at was actually milling out pockets underneath the, uh, the bed itself and sticking the silicone heat pad inside the pocket. Now, there's, you know, that, that increases our machine time and there's a lot of problems with that. We have a half inch plate for a reason. Uh, if we mill it out, it's going to uh, take away from the strength and rigidity of our plate, which uh, say, say you, worst case scenario, you crash the machine, you can actually bend the plate. So, uh, yeah, so Will, Will's solution is the direction we're going in. Uh, pretty much he found the, the M3 uh, resist screwing resistors. So basically what we're gonna do is we'll chuck this up in the middle and uh, drill and tap a bunch of uh, evenly spaced holes and then come in and screw in M3 screwing resistors.